I'm going to get started with a filmmaker who is based in LA. He just uh, made a feature length film about the violence of underground dog fighting. The film is called Chance. I'd like to introduce Kenny Young. Hi, Kenny. Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me on the show, Ava. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. I'm very excited to talk to you about this project, about the film, um, about bringing awareness to this subject matter. Um, so tell us a little bit about the movie. It's called Chance, and it's an animated film from the point of view of the dogs who are involved in this um, underground dog fighting ring, basically. So tell us a little bit about how you were inspired to write this film. Uh, well, a few years ago, my, my business partner and the producer of the film, Phil James, we were visiting a friend out of town. And that friend took us to another friend's house. We were just like hanging out for a while. And he had a pit bull there. And I, I wasn't, I didn't grow up like with a lot of dogs and things, but this particular dog I really connected with and just really just fell in love with him. I let him lick my face and everything. <laughs> And when we were leaving, uh, we commented and said, you know, that's a really great dog you have. And the guy said, yeah, he has his first fight tomorrow to death. Oh, man. And that just really blew us away. I just, I, I didn't know what to say. And unfortunately, uh, and regrettably, we didn't do anything to stop it. So I'm sure the dog either killed or was killed the next day. But that really stuck with us. And we felt we wanted to sort of put that message out in front of like the dog's perspective. Give them, give a voice to those that can't speak up for themselves. Right, because that's really the thing. It really requires the humans who are involved to be empathetic to this, to be sensitive, yeah. to sort of understand that these are living beings who are experiencing this pain. And it's the, it's the ones who aren't really understanding that that are really the problem. So I feel yeah. like what you're able to accomplish with this film, hopefully, is to get people to really feel for these dogs in a more personal way. Um, I can barely watch the trailer without crying. That is how powerful it is. I mean, the animation is beautiful. The expression that you're able to get from, from these dogs, it, it's really amazing. Um, Tell us about the process. I mean, I, I don't know the first thing about making an animated film. I mean, I'm sure, um, you know, I know that you're a filmmaker who has done a lot of other types of films. You've done documentaries, you've done regular kind of features. Um, what was it like to find your animator and, and work with that process? Right, well, this, this was our first animated film. And when we wrote the script, we wrote the script uh, years ago. When we first wrote the script, we knew that this would have we'd have to do this animated. We didn't know the first thing about animation. Yeah. Um, so we sort of asked around, and we uh, we ended up with one animator before. We were initially going to do the film in 2D, where it looks more like drawn animation. Hmm. But that particular animator didn't have the same sensibility. And that was really important, because it's so easy for this project to have gone in the wrong direction if the animator didn't have the same vision we had. Right. So we were very fortunate to come in contact with uh, an animated company, an animation company, Arconics, run by Kenny Roy, and they're actually based in LA. And we sat down with him, and he totally got the process. He totally got the story. He was as passionate about it as we were, and uh, he was the first one to suggest we do the film in 3D. Mm -hmm. And we were skeptical at first, but he did a test for us, and it blew us away. It blew us away, and. It's been very exciting and very uh, educational for us because this was our first animated feature. So, um, yeah, that, that's right. sort of how it came about. It just things sort of fell together as they should. Right, yeah. I mean, I, I, I think that the animation fits perfectly with the story. You know, I, it's sort of like, um, I don't know, uh, uh, the way that, you know, they're able to, you're able to see, you know, the scarring on their faces and the way the dogs go from these kind of adorable little puppies to hardened fighters. Um, yes. The animation just does a really beautiful job with that. So congratulations. I definitely think you found the right and, guy. And, um, yeah, and, and he, he had the vision. If you really wanted to, this sounds ironic, but we wanted to humanize the dogs. Yeah, definitely. Give them, you know, the emotions and the things where there are people that the audience could really connect with them. So I think Kenny did, a, Kenny Roy did an outstanding job with that. And he did some, uh, I wish I could go into more into detail, but he'd have to be here to explain it. But he yeah. did some really revolutionary things as far as with, with the mechanics of the film. Yeah. 
Well, it's amazing. So uh, definitely congratulations on that. And just another element to animation that um, I was kind of thinking about while I was watching the trailer is how you needed to cast the right voices. I mean, obviously for animation, that's always the thing. You need to cast these voice actors that can really portray these characters with their voices. And you have uh, the dogs as children, you know, with kind of childlike voices. And then as, when they grew up. So what was it like to find the right actors? What was that process for you? Well, uh, well, we didn't know this in the beginning, but you actually have to record the voices before you do the animation, and you animate oh. around the voices. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, well, we're, we've been fortunate. Phil and I, you know, we've been making uh, films in LA for a while, so we've been very fortunate to build a network of actors that we knew, people that we felt uh, would get it, would have the sensibility, would have the talent, and would have the passion. So we really pulled mostly friends. Really pulled mostly friends to sort of do the do the voices for us. It is great. I love. I think the again, you nailed it with the and with the voices. Um, I have to have to give a shout out to my cast. They were outstanding. Yeah, congrats on that as well. Um, so tell us a little bit about the plot. I mean, obviously it's it's about uh, a dog fighting ring, but you know the the the, the basis is that chance get sort of like ripped from his little life with his mom to be forced into this industry which obviously dogs who are forced to fight are you know it's not like they have a choice in this matter um so tell us a little bit about the plot well it's about chance he's a, a very peaceful and imaginative pitbull puppy that lives that has a very stable life with his mom and his brothers and sisters and he's sold away and bought by someone who fights dogs and um, his, his journey is to try to hold on to his virtues and his beliefs while he's being raised in this world of dog fighting. And he makes friends and has to fight those friends to the death. So it, it gets pretty graphic sometimes. I mean, not over the top graphic, but we knew we would do the film a disservice if we sort of shied away from the, the brutality of it. So, but we needed a balance. We wanted you to love Chance. We wanted you to really care for the characters. And we wanted the audience to make an emotional investment in yeah, and you know, like you said, it's very difficult to tell this story without the violence and the Absolutely. the kind of horrific aspects of this world. So clearly, not a children's animated film. <laughs> kind of more geared right. toward not the adults. I think the teenagers could dig it, but yeah. yeah, it's not necessarily meant for the kids. But there's a message there that everyone could that would resonate with everyone. That's great. Um, what are some of the things in your research about dog fighting in general? What were some of the things that you discovered? Any any kind of surprising things that you learned about this? I mean, to me, it's one of those things that you kind of know about, but you think that the problem is being taken care of, and it, it's really not. I mean, it's rampant. It's everywhere. It's around the world. Uh, what were some of the things that you learned about this kind of industry, if you want to call it that? Right. Well, I... And well, during the research, I was blown away by how elaborate the training is, mm. how they train these animals to kill each other, you know, what they feed them, uh, the weight training, the running. And wow. another thing that um, it's like no, no animal, no dog is really safe from this because like I thought it were only like pit bulls and Rottweilers and things that, were, that wouldn't be included. Mm -hmm. But they use any dog as bait dog. Like they'll take the little cutest little puppy or the cutest little lap dog you can find and use that, put them in the ring as a bait dog to train the other dogs. So that really disturbed me. I, I thought this only affected a certain breed of dogs, but no dogs are safe. Yeah, so right. I know that that was, that's something that um, people warn other people about as far as offering animals for free on Craigslist, let's say, yes. that a lot of times that's where these people find their bait dogs. and. Um, you know, it's a really tricky, sneaky type of way that they do it, and you don't necessarily know that you're giving your dog up for this purpose, but Absolutely. that's what's happening, and it's really, really sad. And I also learned that there's a, the, uh, the dog fighting world is much bigger than I thought, because I'm from Chicago, and I knew that guys fought dogs. I thought it was like in garages and things like that, but this is around the world, from every social status, it's um, poor people do it, wealthy people do it, they do it in garages, they do it in huge arenas where people make thousands of dollars. 
So it's it's all around the world, and it's not limited to one group of people. It's like everyone does it. Yeah, I think that's really the the saddest part to me is not necessarily the people who are are making these fights happen. It's the people paying money to see it. I mean, they wouldn't so be putting the, yeah, they wouldn't have these fights continuing if people didn't pay to watch it. So it's really, really disturbing. And hopefully if this, you know, films like this get the exposure um, that it deserves so that millions and millions of people can see it, hopefully you can change some minds, you know, by, by like you said, humanizing the dogs and, and letting people feel the compassion for them. Absolutely. Absolutely. So one of the things that you're doing is you're doing sort of a social media kind of push here. And this is how all of you viewers here in the New England area can help. Um, you're trying to get a million likes and a million shares uh, to spread awareness and, and various other you know, reasons. So tell us exactly where we should watch the trailer, um, where we should like, you know, is it Facebook, is it YouTube, is it all of the above? It's nearly all of the above. We're going to okay. put it on YouTube within the next week, but it's uh, the website is chancethefilm.com. Okay. Uh, and then you can find it on Facebook, Chance the Film. You can find us on Twitter, Chance the Film. You can find us on Instagram, Chance the Film. Not Chance the Rapper. We got right. Rapper. <laughs> I know. Very similar. Chance the Film, yeah. <laughs> so, and we'll have it on YouTube within the next week or two. So right now, we haven't even approached distribution or anything. Right. We're just trying to build awareness first. So we're not asking anyone for any money or anything right now. We're just asking you, please watch the trailer and please share it and spread the word. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's a very simple thing that you can do and it can really help this cause and, and let people yes. become aware. Um, so uh, you kind of paired, there's the Anti-Dog Fighting Campaign International. They've sort of partnered up with this goal of spreading awareness and um, just for, again, for you viewers out there, if you wanted more information about this subject or if you have any tips about people who may be doing this, you can email them at anti-dogfightingcampaign at hotmail.com. Uh, get more information. Help everyone spread the word about this cause. And um, so you recently had a premiere at the Dances with Films Festival in Hollywood. How did it go? What was the response? Tell oh, us about it. Fantastic. We kind of flipped <laughs> out, and a lot of dog uh, and dog activists and animal organizations showed up. So that's that was great. tremendous. We made a lot. We made a lot of great connections, and our network really grew from that. And that was the first time we had really screened the film. Yeah. You know, so that was exciting for us. It was a little scary for us, <laughs> but the response was overwhelming. So it's really given us a lot of energy to keep pushing forward. Were there a lot of tears out there? Because I know if it were me, I would probably <laughs> be a mess. The trailer is sad. Oh God, the oh. movie's gonna fall. Oh. But you know, we wanted a balance. So you'll laugh, you'll cry, but we want you to feel inspired to make a difference. Yeah, absolutely. And who are your little friends over there? I see. I see someone trying to photo bomb your interview. <laughs> <laughs> this is Puppy Chance. This is Puppy Chance. Adorable. And this is a little Chance. So we just want, I, we've been uh, using these guys sort of as marketing tools also. Sure. Um, yeah, so we have all the characters. We have some for all the main characters. Oh, that's um, awesome. Yeah, I'm falling in love with these guys. So I'm, I'm actually going to buy a real pit bull very, very soon. This, this film has really made a difference in my life, too. Yeah, well, lucky for you, Kenny, you live in L.A. where there are lots and lots and lots, an overwhelming amount of pit bulls available at the muni muni ah, municipal shelters in L.A., um, I worked for, um, I, mean, I actually co-organized um, uh, animal uh, rescue, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting a little emotional, um, in L.A., and, uh, you know, there are so many wonderful dogs who need homes, so I'm sure you will find the absolute perfect pet there. <laughs> Absolutely. And I want to take a moment to thank you, Ava, because I know you've been on the front line with this before we even start on this film, so... You really put your put your money, your action, and your and your talent into where your mouth is. So thank you for that. That's really needed, and I really admire you for that. This is a perfect fit to be on your show today. Yes, absolutely. Again, love the opportunity to help spread the word about this cause. So you can go check it out at Chance the Film on Facebook, ChanceTheFilm.com. Watch the trailer, share, spread the word. It's an amazing film, amazing cause. And Kenny, thank you so much for being on the show today. 
Oh, thank you, Ava. <laughs> God bless you, and I'm very proud of you. I love the show. Thank